plate lunch is a dish endemic to Hawaii. It evolved from the workers in the pineapple fields and sugarcane fields. They imported them from all different countries all around the world, and they would get together for lunch, and some would share some of their individual home cooking. And so you would have Portuguese, Filipinos, Japanese, Chinese, Korean, and they would all share their foods. And you wound up with a plate of food that was taking a little bit from each culture. You may have Korean kalbi, Japanese rice. Uh, you might have a curry there or, or a, uh, a beef stew, uh, macaroni salad. You basically have a multicultural dish on a plate, multiple dishes, and it's become something that everybody knows to get in Hawaii. The locals eat it all the time. In fact, I have friends of mine who tell me, you know, I've gone to Hawaii and it's so expensive to eat. I said, well, where are you eating? Well, they eat at the hotels and they eat at the fancy restaurants. Hawaii is not really a place to eat in fancy restaurants. And if you're eating in hotels, you're paying too much for your food. Go to the plate lunch places, go to the local okazuyas, which are the Japanese style delis, and eat more casually there. And you're going to get a good deal and you're going to get good food. We're going to take you around to some of the better plate lunch places on the island of Oahu and show you places you can eat while you're on vacation without spending a fortune on food and getting some of the best food you've ever had. We are in the Dillingham area at the corner of Dillingham Boulevard and Waikamila Road, which is kind of the south end of Kalihi. It is not on the tourist map. This place is the very definition of a hole in the wall. It's this little beaten up wooden shack, but it has some of the best plate lunches in town, particularly the teriyaki beef and the kalbi here, really good. It's called Bob's Barbecue, and no tourist will tell you about this, but the locals know about it. They first opened up in the 1970s when I was in high school, and I remember their big thing was they made chocolate malts and they fried their own potato chips. They gave you potato chips with a chocolate malt and you would dip it in the malt and it was good. But their plates are still good. They still make the malts. Everything's really good here. Just don't be afraid of the way it looks. It's really good. We're gonna pick this up. We're going to take it up into Aiea and we're going to go eat it there. Believe me, some of the best plate lunches you've ever had. All right, we'd like one terry beef plate, uh, one plate with terry beef and kalbi and extra mac salad, uh, one saba plate, a terry burger deluxe, or cheeseburger, I'm sorry, terry cheeseburger deluxe, and two chocolate malts, one small, one medium. Uh, yeah, did I order the Saba plate? Yes. Okay, yeah, then I got everything. Okay. Okay, now we're not eating here. We're going to take it to my brother. My brother's waiting for us, and he found out we were going to Bob's. He said he wanted some. So we're not going to sit here and eat, but they do have places to sit and eat. They're little like picnic table type things, little wooden benches that you can sit here and eat. And it's not usually that crowded. The food is good. It's still popular with locals. Tourists apparently don't know about this, so you don't really see it. Now you know, if you come to Hawaii, you should definitely go to Dillingham and go to Bob's Barbecue. Their chocolate malts have always been good. They're chocolatey, they're malty, they're cold, they're thick. When you first get them, you can't suck them up with the straw. This melted a little on the way up to Aiea. So we were able to uh, drink some of it rather than sit there and turn our lungs inside out when I tried to do it. They no longer come with potato chips, but they're still good malts. So there's two types of meat here. One is teriyaki beef and the other is kalbi. Kalbi is Korean style short ribs. They both have a similar sauce. It's a, a soy sauce based with ginger, garlic, and sugar. And um, that's a classic Hawaiian uh, plate lunch. 
is teriyaki beef or kalbi. Both taste just right with the charred beef. It's really good. When I order a teriyaki plate lunch, I always ask for sauce on the rice. They put teriyaki sauce on the rice. It flavors the rice. At Bob's Barbecue, they have a bottle of teriyaki sauce so you can pour it on your rice yourself. We put some in a little container and took it home with us. And so we're eating it here. And I poured the sauce on the rice myself. So the rice itself has a teriyaki sauce flavoring. And never go wrong with some well-prepared kalbi. Mm. Somehow the texture of the, of the short ribs absorbs the sauce even more. And so it tastes even sweeter. It's really good. It's a nice combination of stuff. Mm. This is a teriyaki cheeseburger. A teriyaki burger is very common in Hawaii. You get it at all the fast food places and it's got the flavor of teriyaki, but here at Bob's they also char the beef really well. And so you get a nice combination. That's good, it's got a lot of onion. It's got a tomato, it's got melty cheese, it's got good charred teriyaki beef, and the bun is soft, and it's got a little lettuce and some mayo in there to round it all up. I got it's a mackerel, it's called saba, grilled saba. Um, the fish is mackerel. Hmm. It's very chewy, very dense. It's very tasty, I love it. And look at this, it's two giant whole fish. I really love it. It's very tasty. Mmm. Mmm. You know what? I forgot to add some lemon in here. They have a good, very good grill more. It's very tasty. Liliha Bakery. Liliha started out in the Liliha area, which is just Mauka of downtown Honolulu. For those of us who think in mainland terms, you would think it's north. It's not really north, it's kind of like northwest, but it's, it's Mauka, which means towards the mountains. Let me explain the directional system here on Oahu. Things are never north, south, east, west. They're Mauka towards the mountains, Makai towards the ocean, Eva towards Eva Beach or Diamond Head towards Diamond Head. And so when you come up with directions, you never say north, south, east, west. Anyway, that's just an aside, but it's probably good to know. Liliha is Mauka of downtown Honolulu. The original Liliha Bakery was in the Liliha area. It's still there. It's been around for like 70, 80 years. It's been around forever. Uh, they recently, within the last 10 years, opened up this location, which is on Nimitz Highway, which is the stretch of road going between downtown Honolulu and the airport. And uh, it's always crowded here. It's always packed. People love it. This is a local's favorite, and uh, it's very well known. They have all kinds of things. Everybody goes crazy over their cocoa puffs. Cocoa puffs are essentially a cream puff stuffed with chocolate pudding, and they have a Chantilly cream on the top. Frankly, I don't think they're that special, but people do go crazy here. They love it. They do also have a butter roll that they put on the table at every, everybody who sits down gets that. And they have this, let's see if I can find it, yeah. This, they call it Liliha Jelly. It's essentially a nuclear red. And it's sweet, it's a little bit tangy, but it's just a sweet jelly that you put on the butter rolls and everybody goes crazy over this and the butter rolls. And that actually is pretty good, I, that can be addictive. 
They also have some nice plate lunches. They have good local mocos here. Um, but we're here today for some of their baked goods. They have an incredible baked good case. They have a big variety of all kinds of stuff. You, you know, generally, you go here, there's not something you won't want. They have mochi donuts that are good. They have poi malasadas. They have, you know, their danishes, their, their eclairs. Everything here is good. And this is a good place to come for baked goods. So anyway, we're here. We're just going to have a little bit of a, a brunch with my brother. We're going to have a nice time. And he's got some people he's got to meet for business. So we should have a good time here. Actually, they don't tell you what's in it. It's got some kind of red fruit. It's very sweet. Um, and no identifiable fruit of any kind. But at least it's not cinnamon, so that's okay. It's nuclear jelly. It's nuclear jelly. They call it liliha jelly. They take these butter rolls and they butter them and they put them on the griddle and they toast it in and then they serve it at your table with this nuclear jelly. Yeah. People go crazy over it. It's defective. Yeah, you can eat. You can eat. Alan ordered the loco moco which is a classic in Hawaii. He got it over fried rice. Now we gotta figure out whether it's any good. Is that a good loco moco? Yeah, I was saying the gravy is kind of the, the heart of the loco moco. If the gravy's no good, it's not worth it. Dark rich and it's mm -hmm. not like a grown on created it's like yeah. a special recipe or whatever it is. Nice. So I like the hamburger. It's not your standard just take a bunch of beef and grill it up. They they mix it in with some egg, with some bread. It's more like a meatloaf than a hamburger, but it's very tasty. It's seasoned well. It's a good Hawaiian style hamburger. And I'll certainly eat it. Okay, so I ordered the Hamburger Deluxe. You want the Hamburger Deluxe with cheese or the Cheeseburger Deluxe? Now, I'll take the Cheeseburger Deluxe, please. Okay, and is that with or without cheese? With. What? Cheese. Cheese! Oh, why well, you never say so in the first place? One side or the cheese? No! Oh, hey, Russell, the bugger, he giving me heat. Go slap his head! We are at the St. Louis Drive-In in Kaimuki in Ottawa. Basically, a, a plate lunch place like the St. Louis Drive-In serves all different kinds of plate lunches. You get teriyaki beef, you get curry, you get uh, hamburger steak, you can get kalbi, you can get all kinds of different things. What their specialty here is, is that they serve a lot of fresh seafood on their plate lunches. And so we're here because Young's got a craving for fresh seafood. We're gonna get a good plate lunch. We'll see how, how tasty it is. The rumor here, I've, I've talked to my friends, and this was started by the parents. The children have taken over, but the food is just as good now with the children running it as it was when it first opened about 40 years ago when the parents were running it. You and I go to our favorite place. Oh yeah, yeah. Make special memories together. I'll be your company. Chicken katsu plate, that's a fairly standard plate lunch. They didn't have it, and I really didn't want teriyaki because I just had teriyaki yesterday. So I ordered what they call a barbecue kimchi burger, which looks like a standard hamburger, barbecue burger, with kimchi in it. And that just sounded good to me, so I'm going to have it. I can smell the kimchi. It smells like it's good, ripe kimchi. So let's give it a taste. Good charred local style burger with the typical local style kimchi in it. It makes a really nice combination. Local kimchi is a little saltier than regular kimchi, but it's good on top of a hamburger, so it works out good. So we got a Japanese plate, which is one of their specialty items. It has ahisha sashimi, it has teriyaki beef, and it has mochiko chicken. Usually mochiko chicken is fried. This looks like it may be pan fried. Uh, that's good. It looks like it has 
some salad. It has some rice in it. Japanese uh, it salad. It's a Japanese salad. Okay. Mm -hmm. It comes with like just like a pento box like that. Um, for this tuna sashimi, there is one, one, two, three, four, five, six, six pieces of tuna. So let's find out how good that is, how fresh that is. That's the tuna sashimi. Mmm. Fresh. Very soft, very fresh. So blend. So this, since there is no wasabi, I'm gonna add some Japanese um, salad with it. Mmm. Tastes much better. Mmm. -mm. This sashimi is very good. Very fresh. Oh, I really need a wasabi. I found that there is a little tiny thing for, I think it's a sashimi. Look, why they bury it on the bottom here? They did it to trick you. Yeah, I know. Most of the people eat sashimi first. Let's try it. The wasabi right underneath. Oh man! It's so different. This is the chicken. Mmm! So good. It's fried, right? No, it's not fried. Okay. They grilled it. But the best part is this um I think it's skin they I think it's mochi flour. Mochi it's coated with mochi. Mmm I think they just coated it with mochi flour and pan fried it. Oh yeah. I thought it was um uh, better the actually it's not better. The skin is still attached. They just use the coating. The coating was mochi coating. That's why it tastes really good. I really like this. Yeah, we're going away, you and me. Feeling the sun on my face in a while. We're on King Street in the commercial section of Kalihi. This is a place that most of the time tourists don't come and probably most of the time they shouldn't. Uh, you don't want to come here at night, but during the daytime this place is fine to come. And behind me is Island Style Barbecue. Island Style Barbecue is known to the locals as having some of the best plate lunches on the island. So you should certainly consider coming here during the day to have a nice plate lunch. It has chicken katsu and kalbi? Yeah. Okay, I like to do that. Uh, extra mac and maybe some of the kalbi sauce on the rice. Katsu, kalbi, Yes. Yes. I think I'll get a passion orange. Now it's time to try the kalbi. Feeling the sun on my face in a Good kalbi, it's cooked well. The sauce is a little sweet, but it's still good. Mm. Of course, I've got to have my passion orange drink. When I'm in the islands, it's, it's one of the few exceptions I'll make to my no juice policy. Very nice. Very pleasant plate lunch. It's very good. You know, now you know, I can't have macaroni salad without coating it black with pepper. It's just my thing. Now what I got here is kalbi, which is Korean style short ribs, and chicken katsu. It's a combination plate. You can get more than one main on your plate. So I got two, I was in the mood for katsu. I was also in the mood for kalbi. So this way I get both. Okay. Comes with katsu sauce. It looks like this is homemade katsu sauce, which I find disappointing. I like the pre-packaged stuff. 
That's good. The coating is really crispy. It's nice and warm. The chicken is soft. It's chewy a little bit, but it's really good. The katsu sauce is sweeter than I'm used to, but it's still a good katsu sauce. Um, the last time I tried a homemade katsu sauce, it was disappointing. This is not. Now macaroni salad is key to a good plate lunch. Let's see if they have a good macaroni salad. That's good, very standard, very neutral, nothing unusual in it. Macaroni, mayo, it may have a little bit of potato in it. It's good, it's good. It's not gonna make my eyes roll back in my head, but it's still good. So I would say that two of the most surprising restaurants we had here were Adela's and Olena. Those two plate lunch places uh, were probably some of the two best meals we had this entire time in Hawaii and they were fairly inexpensive. Each one was about $25 a person, which isn't too bad as compared to the fancier restaurants we went to. Uh, I would say that if I were gonna rank the plate lunch places, I would definitely say that Adela's and Olena are tied for first, but if you really twisted my arm, I might say Adela's was a little bit better, but Olena's was spectacular as well. Behind them, We are in Kaneohe, in front of Adela's Country Kitchen. Now let me mention, when you tell anybody in Hawaii that you're going to Kaneohe, everybody says, oh, it's all the way out there. Well, it's about a 25 minute drive from downtown Honolulu, so everybody considers that to be the country. Uh, the Marine Base is here, the Mental Institution is here, and most of the people who live on the leeward side, that's about all they know about Kaneohe. Kaneohe is actually a very big, thriving community, and Adela's Country Kitchen here is considered to have some of the best plate lunches on the island. They actually are also known because they do homemade noodles of various types and all kinds of different items that are local. It's their idea to try to make local noodles, and they use local sauces with it, and they make plate lunches that everybody goes crazy over. Very low glycemic index. For people like me, diabetic, uh -huh. that's very good. So we had, see, not the whole thing is ulu. We mix in about 35% uh -huh. ulu. So you actually use less wheat flour. Then the next one is the uh, ube. We try to, first of all, both of these plates have amazing quantities of food in them. Uh, the quality of what they cooked, it was very clear. That the, that the people at Adela's care about the quality of the food because the food is very good, the quality is very good. Texture is perfect. Mm -hmm. The lechon is great. It's a classic Filipino dish and uh, it's made out of pork belly, but it's got the skin on it. Mm -hmm. And so the skin is super crispy. The meat is tender and unctuous. It's delicious. And then they have large pieces of pork in here mm -hmm. as well. So you get the pork, you get the pork belly, mm -hmm. you get the skin, it's crackly, it's crispy. Mm -hmm. you, you want them to hear you crunch it? Mm-hmm. Okay, go ahead. Young's gonna crunch on the skin because you can okay. hear this all the way to Waikiki. This place, Adela's, is very, very popular. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Um, I, I would definitely drive the extra 25 minutes from Honolulu to get to Kaneohe to go to Adela's if it was open for the day. I'll drive an hour to get here, mm -hmm. you know. I'll drive an hour and five minutes. Oh. I see your hour and raise you five minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, so, so only, yeah, it's really good. The food is good here and massive quantities. We could probably eat this for three days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're in front of Olena Catering. It's a small cafe on the south side of Nimitz Highway near Sand Island. Basically, it's a locals type of plate lunch place. If, uh, if you're looking to get a local plate lunch and you don't want to go where the tourists go, this is a good place to try it. Now, this place is open very limited hours, but uh, this guy makes local plate lunches, Filipino guy who uh, grew up in the islands and basically just likes the local stuff. So we're going to uh, try a plate lunch here and see how it is. Okay, so they have a whole bunch of different kinds of plate lunch there. The adobo apparently is really popular, but one of the more popular things here is their beef stew. I decided to get their beef stew 
Um, that is actually a very local Hawaiian thing. Hawaiians do love their beef stew. They gave us a plate. It's got like a red sauce of some kind. The beef seems to be chunks. Uh, I can't quite tell what kind of beef, but it does look to be very rich. There's chunks of potato and onions in it, green onions. And a rice, which is jasmine rice with turmeric in it and uh, some seasonings. And I wanted something a little healthy with my beef stew. Mmm. That's good. You can actually taste the turmeric in it. Uh, that's good. And they gave me a it's turmeric good. dressing to go with the salad. Mm, it smells really good. Yeah, it mm -hmm. smells delicious. Mm -hmm. And they have a nice turmeric dressing with the salad. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try that. Is this like um, traditional Filipino dish? No, no. An adobo would be more traditional okay. Filipino dish. But this is more a traditional Hawaiian dish. Oh, okay. Beef stew is a big Hawaiian thing. They okay. love beef, their beef stew here. Okay. They had adobo. They had beef stew. They had uh, some vegetarian and vegan plate lunches with just Okinawan sweet potato and tofu and things like that. But their plate lunches are very tasty here. Mm. And so when you want something good that's not your typical standard plate lunch, more, mm -hmm. more with a little bit really upscale good. twist, mm -hmm. this Olena's is a real good place very to go. Place. Behind them, I would say that I think maybe uh, Bob's would come number three and then behind Bob's would be probably maybe Lily Ha Bakery and then actually St. Louis would be last. I, I really didn't consider St. Louis to be that great. Now I didn't have a plate lunch there but Young did and she can tell you what she thought of the plate lunch there. But uh, so that would be my ranking for the plate lunches. In all though, plate lunches are the way to go when you're looking for a good meal in Hawaii and you don't want to spend a fortune. The locals eat at plate lunches places all the time. Oh, you know, today we just had, we just ate Island Sal barbecue in Kalihi, and I would say that was probably a little bit better than Bob's, so that might be number three. Or maybe